What's up, my dudes? Valk here. And after lots of trials and tribulations, after lots of pain, lots of money, and around like 15,000 helix, Jesus, it is more than that. It's, uh, it's way more than 15,000 helix. It's around 20,000 helix. It's somewhere around there. But yeah, after all that, I finally did it. I finally have the perfect Gatsu. I got him double Omni. Uh, 26k attack, 1.8 SPA, and we're going to see what he can do in Challenge Rift. Uh, I might mess up the Challenge Rift, I'm not going to lie, but let's hope I don't. Let's hope I nail it the first time for a whopping whole 10 helixes. This will make up the, this 10 helix will make up the 20k I spent to get here. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's get this rolling and let's see exactly how good the Giga Gatsu is in short form content, which is what he's designed for. So yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to show this to you guys because I I'm real I yeah I'm, I'm I like guts a lot so I don't know if it's obvious I like guts a lot but I really like guts he's my favorite berserk character or he's my favorite anime character ever and I uh, whenever he came out I decided before the game even came out that I was gonna go crazy on guts and make him really 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 good and so I made sure to uh, do that yeah. Anyways, let's just keep it pushing here. We're going to go ahead and grab this where the wave transfer's over. Then we're going to go ahead and start upgrading Gatsu. Now, the only thing we're going to do different than we normally would is we're going to put down a Nami. Now, you guys will be like, Valk, why do you have Hyogo Q on Nami? It's really simple. Uh, Hyogo Q makes it so she actually gets a price decrease. That's why i got to turn the, the damage numbers off with Guts because there's just so many damage numbers. So here, he's, is he actually pushing him in a spawn? He is successfully pushing him to spawn. I might not even need to do this. I'm doing it just in case. So we're going to go here. You can see I have cheaper upgrades because I have the Hyoga Q. So we're going to do this. And now we're going to go ahead and turn and focus on Bulma. Bulmi! We're going to turn, focus on Bulmi. And then we're going to, in line with our cheap upgrades, we're going to make sure to go 1, 2, 3, 1. And now we wait for the next upgrade. So we can perma apply this. Two. Alright, cool. So now we're going to try to just chill out. Because if we chill out here, we should have enough money next wave to go ahead and fully max out Bulma. Uh, before the wave tick, I should say. So that, that ability on doing this on wave tick is going to be really, really, really massive. Because it's going to allow us to just start giga buffing this shit out of guts ASAP. So we're going to do this now. And the reason we don't have a good support line set up, because we uh, want to make sure we actually buff up Guts really well. But you can see he's almost at a million attack with two upgrades to go. So now we're going to go ahead and do this. While we have all this juice here, we're going to be selling these Namis, so they're not going to be here permanently. Uh, but yeah, we are going to juice the ever-living hell out of Guts. So now Guts has this type of coverage going for him. Um, and this is going to be really, really, really important here in a bit that we actually are doing this. So next wave, we're going to go ahead and finish maxing out Guts. Guts getting stunned is not good. Uh, but here, Guts is just going to take over and just go nuts. So now you can see he's at 13.5 million without any like real significant buffers. The only real buffer he has right now is Sakura. But we're going to go ahead and sell all the buffs now because we're going to start focusing on giving him an actual buff line. And that was just to help him make through the early game. So now that he's through the early game, we're going to go ahead and sell off our buffs and just reapply them. We're actually going to put Shinobu over here because if I remember right, Shinobu can reach from here. So we're going to give the big old Shinobu reach. All right. And then one, two. Oh, Guts is stunning Shinobu. That is not good. We're going to go ahead and put a Steve down over yonder. I don't want Steve to get stunned, so we're going to put Steve in the back, actually. Mm, 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 mm. He, yeah, he's at 32 mil. Yeah, 33 mil. Yeah, 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 that'll be good. All right, so Steve's going to be good there. And now Shinobu should reach. Yeah, okay. So Shinobu's reaching, so because Shinobu's reaching, we're going to be able to take this, put down a second Shinobu, go here, one, two, and then Shinobu should reach as well. So now we're getting Guts' SPA down, getting his damage up. You can see he's at 65 million right now. 
And then we're going to go here with Shinobu 3. About right here. One, two, three. One, two. All right. And now everybody's down. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we can do this. And then buff up this. And then we're going to put a Ghetto down. And now let's see how crazy Guts is before the Ghetto buff. Before the Ghetto buff, he's at 94 million attack stat. And whenever the Ghetto buff happens, he should break 100 mil, so he'll be at like 102 million attack stat. So yeah, it's needless to say, he is an absolute demon, an absolute monster, if you will. He's really, 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 really damn good. And I'm really, really happy. I'm happy that I, I'm able to take my favorite boy and just go and murderize some uh, challenge rift now. Um, having the perfect Gatsu is really, really dope. So here we have this. And then I'm going to take me a little screenshot real quick of uh, of his stats. Yeah. Oh, I missed, I missed the 101k or 101 mil, excuse me. I need the 101 mil screenshot. There we go. So yeah, Guts is just turbo giga good. Now you guys might be asking me, Valk, why aren't you uh, putting down your, why aren't you putting down your Nami and like buffing up his stuff with Nami at this point? It's because Nami messes with my other buff lines and Nami's just for early game. Because once you get Guts up and running with a 101 million attack stat, he's just one-shotting everything that comes out the store. So the next thing we're going to do, just in case, I don't think we'll need it, but just in case, we're going to go ahead, do this, do this, and set the strongest. So, if I feel like for some reason the boss somehow, some way doesn't get absolutely one shot by Guts, um, you guys can see the amount of damage Guts does. That's 600 mil attacks that, right? Just shredded, gone. Like, look, 600 mil. Boom, gone. Um, so, if for some reason I, uh, I don't one shot the boss. I'm going to have the ability to just lock it down with prison well, which is going to be really, really massive. It's going to be super helpful to have that. So yeah, that's pretty important to have. Yeah, you're not in range of anything. All right, cool. So yeah, uh, Guts is now turbo broken. Um, a perfect Gatsu is just absolutely wild. I had to change my team a little bit to bring in the Namis just for the cheap range boost because losing CEO does hurt in terms of range because that 40% range to 30% or 40% range down to 10% range does make a massive difference in his early game. Um, but the level of damage you can get to later game is paramount for Challenge Rift. Like I said, I liked having the AoE coverage from CEO, but that's a hundred and one point five million attack stat within ten waves. That's really nice to have. That's really, really, really nice to have, and I'm really, really happy with guts. Like I said, he's my favorite anime character, so I always knew I was going to do this. Was it worth what I spent on him? Fuck no, absolutely not. Um, not at all. This is a Roblox game, bro. I did it because I love this game. This is my favorite Roblox game, and that's my favorite anime character. And I wanted to make sure he's going to be good forever. And what way, what better way to ensure he's going to be good forever other than just straight up making a perfect one? So yeah, that's that's why I did it. I uh, I really really love guts, and that's exactly why I did it. It's why you're not going to see me go for. I'm never going for another impossible trait in this game unless the trait system changes somehow. Um, I'm done chasing impossible traits. I got absolutely rolled so hard on guts trying to get what I want. It wasn't a good time did not have fun do not recommend uh but other than that yeah anyways uh we're getting to le boss we're getting there to the boss and we're going to see exactly how much guts just murderizes the boss like i could i can click guts but it's nothing changed still 101 mil on a 0.6 second or a 0.6 spa although it's not really 0.6 it's more like 4.6 because his animation takes four seconds i believe so he's really got a 4.6 spa but the damage is still absurd. Um, but Guts, like, Guts needs not this level of damage. Double Omni on a character with high attack is obviously going to make him scale to the moon. But Guts needs very high attack at base. Uh, simply because he is Feast or Famine. Either Guts is killing absolutely everything. Or, like, you guys can see, I'm 
literally getting ready to stun my own uh, Shinobu constantly. Um, but either... It's like, what is it? Either Guts completely stomps the stage or he's completely useless. That's that's the two things. Those are the two parameters for Guts. Okay, so you guys can see, look, Guts really isn't like shredding, shredding. So we're going to go ahead and lock down using Ghetto. And now you guys can see the amount of damage Guts can just dish out very, very quickly. This is what, 3 billion HP? Yeah, and uh, 3 billion dead. So, yeah, Guts is an absolute demon now. I have my perfect boy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.